speaking up for what's right can affect change, and 10-year-old Cassidy Warner did exactly that. Her remarkable story caught the attention of everyone on social media when she bravely posted a video of how she was being bullied at school. Cassidy has proven that even the quietest voice can have the loudest message. So on day two of Hope Week, the New York Yankees honored Cassidy for her bravery and the organization No Bully for making a difference. to see these kids, how they're impacted. A lot of these kids come from very vulnerable populations, disenfranchised schools, you know, multiple challenges. And to give them a chance to hang out with these players and spend a day and feel like we're all in this together and that they're standing with them and by them is really key. We were in their shoes at one point and, uh, you know, for them to you know, give them hopes and dreams. I think this was uh, what it's all about. You know, all of us have been a victim of it at some point, and if not, we, we know someone very close to us uh, who has. So, you know, just, just to bring support and awareness to it and, you know, to try to put it into it. I know when I was young, I, I got bullied a little bit, and it's true as I'm sure everybody really kind of did. You know, it's kind of just what goes on when you come up. That moment of if you're going to stand up for someone and help them or, or, or just kind of say nothing and, and let it go around the corner. And you don't really want to do that. I, I know I have two kids and, you know, I would love for them to, to stand up for some other people and, and really help people, you know, figure out what's, what's the right way to act and, and how to be nice to people. That's something that you don't want to experience as a kid. You know, obviously you just want to have fun and enjoy your classmates. and. You know, I think for us to spread that message, it hits home on a lot of people and, you know, hopefully it helps, helps throughout the community and all over the world. I think that's, that's our biggest message and that's what we try to preach. I think just seeing it, all, the, all the kids, seeing Cassidy smile, having fun out here was, was probably the biggest thing. They're just, it's kind of some freedom, kind of escape, and tell them that, hey, you got a friend in the New York Yankees. I think it's empowering, and I think that she will continue to grow in her voice around this issue, and I think she'll continue to grow in her self-confidence and be able to ignite more compassion and empathy in her peer group. She'll definitely uh, have fun, and uh, you know, for her to be here with our family and, and be here with, with the Yankees, uh, I think is a dream for her. I just hope that I inspired others to speak up and not be afraid.